Another thing that, in my personal opinion, is important is uh, persistence. So, is there anything that you have ever quit uh, in your life? Because it sounds like you have the idea and you go and you find a way. Yeah. What a um, go-getter that we have. Yeah, I'm not sure I've quit anything like business related. I had to quit belly dancing uh, because I used to be, I used to dance a lot when I was in the States. And uh, when I came back home, I I also, you know, tried to, to uh, continue dancing here with a group. Uh, but it was such a hard time. You know, I wasn't earning any salary. I was, uh, you know, in those first stages of the business where we really, you know, weren't having a lot of clients in the beginning. I was, you know, having soleti for lunch every day just because I couldn't go uh, to a, like a normal restaurant or have anything else. Um, and then, yeah, I, it was just very hard because I was participating with this belly dance group at like concerts and stuff like that. And they, uh, we had to buy like a lot of the uh, costumes and, and dresses. Uh, so I was like, sorry, I, I have to quit. Um, so this was, you know, just a, a sacrifice of what I really enjoyed doing just because I wasn't able to um, participate at that point. Um, and also, I think there was a factor of, uh, you know, I'm trying to portray, you know, this professional image towards the people that I'm working with. But belly dancing, like Oriental dances, have a completely different, you know, kind of connotation towards them, both here in Bulgaria and in the Arab world. So me, you know, going out and, and doing, you know, be belly dancing uh, at night, you know, as a secret <laughs> second life, um, just didn't seem like something that would be a good fit. So, yeah, I, I think this is one of the things that I've, I've quit. And if you are just as passionate about innovation as we are, hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere.